Did you know that your liver can regenerate itself completely, even after 75% of it has been removed or damaged? But what happens when this superhero organ starts to falter? In this vast, complex universe that is our body, the liver stands out as a marvel of resilience and regeneration. It's a silent workhorse, tirelessly detoxifying our blood, storing energy, and producing essential proteins without a word of complaint. Yet, while the liver is a paragon of regeneration, there's a limit to its superpowers. When pushed too far by toxins, viruses, or a poor diet, even this mighty organ might begin to struggle. And because the liver is so crucial to our health, when it suffers, the entire body feels the effect. But here's the kicker. Liver damage often doesn't show up in obvious ways until it's advanced. It's an unseen danger, a silent affliction that can sneak up on us if we're not vigilant. So how do we know if our liver is in trouble? What are the signs that our body's detoxifier-in-chief is crying out for help? Let's delve into the 12 weird signs that might indicate your liver is crying out for help. Firstly, are you constantly feeling tired? Don't ignore it as just another hectic day. That persistent fatigue you're experiencing might be your liver waving red flag. You see, your liver is like the powerhouse of your body, breaking down the food you eat into energy. But when it's damaged, it struggles to perform this crucial task, resulting in you feeling constantly worn out. It's as if you're a car trying to run on an almost empty gas tank. Next, we've got a sign that's a bit more visible. Yellowing skin. Now you might be thinking, hey, that's just a bad spray tan but it's actually a common sign of liver damage known as jaundice. When your liver isn't functioning properly, it struggles to break down a substance called bilirubin. As bilirubin levels rise in the body, it can cause the skin, the whites of the eyes, and even the inside of the mouth to take on a yellow hue. It's like your body's own little warning light telling you that something's not quite right under the hood. So if you're starting to look like a Simpsons character, it might be time to get your liver checked. Moving on, let's talk about something a bit personal. Your urine. Now don't squirm, it's a natural thing we all do. But here's the catch. The color of your urine can be an early warning sign of liver damage. When your liver is under stress, it struggles to break down and eliminate bilirubin, a waste product of red blood cells. This bilirubin then gets excreted through your urine, giving it a dark amber color, akin to a bottle of stout. So, next time you're in the bathroom, take a quick peek before you flush. Consider it a red flag if your urine looks more like cola than lemonade. Our next sign might be a bit uncomfortable, abdominal swelling. Now, before you jump to conclusions, let's clarify. This isn't the kind of swelling you experience after a hearty meal. This is persistent, unexplained bloating that can feel uncomfortable or even painful. It's caused by a condition known as ascites, where damage to the liver hinders its ability to produce and circulate enough proteins and hormones. This in turn leads to fluid accumulation in the abdominal cavity, causing that persistent swelling. It's like a water balloon slowly filling up. So if you notice your belly swelling but you haven't been overeating, it could be more than just a food baby. Your liver might be the culprit. Have you been scratching like a dog with fleas? It could be your liver. Now you might be wondering, how on earth can my liver make me itch? Well, let's dive into the science. When your liver is damaged, it struggles to process and eliminate toxins from your body. These toxins can then build up in your bloodstream and make their way to your skin, causing that nagging itch. It's like your body's own version of a warning light trying to alert you of the trouble brewing inside. And this isn't your everyday kind of itch, it's persistent, and often more noticeable in the hands and feet. So the next time you find yourself reaching for that anti-itch cream, remember, it's not just dry skin or allergies, your itchy skin could be signaling liver damage. Next up, we're back in the bathroom for our sixth sign, pale stools. Now, this might sound strange, but the color of your stool can tell you a lot about your health. Usually, it should have a brown hue, thanks to a substance called bilirubin, produced by your liver. When your liver isn't functioning properly, it can't process bilirubin efficiently. This results in your stool taking on a much lighter, even chalky color. Imagine it like this. If your liver is the artist, bilirubin is the paint, and your stool is the canvas. If the artist runs out of paint, the canvas isn't going to look quite right, is it? So, if your stool is looking more like a ghost than its usual brown self, it's time to check in with your liver. Our seventh sign is a loss of appetite. Now imagine your favorite meal, the one you could eat any day, any time. Suddenly, it doesn't appeal to you anymore. Sounds strange, right? But that's what liver damage can do. It can make you lose your appetite. You might not feel like eating, even when you've not eaten for a while. Your body needs nutrients to function properly, and when you don't eat, 
it doesn't get what it needs. This can lead to weight loss and malnutrition. So if you're constantly pushing your plate away or skipping meals, it might not be just because you're not in the mood for food, it could be a sign of liver damage. Remember, not feeling hungry could be more than just not being in the mood for food. Feeling nauseous or vomiting more than usual? Sign number eight. Now this might seem like a common symptom of many health conditions, but it can also be an indicator of liver damage. When your liver is under stress, it struggles to process toxins effectively. As a result, these toxins can build up in your bloodstream and affect your brain, leading to feelings of nausea and instances of vomiting. It's like your body's way of saying, hey, there's something wrong here. So, if you're experiencing these symptoms more frequently and without any apparent cause, it might be time to check in with your doctor. Remember, nausea and vomiting are more than just stomach issues, they could be liver issues. Do you bruise like a peach? This could be sign number nine. Now it might surprise you to know that your liver plays a significant role in the clotting of your blood. You see, our livers produce proteins vital for blood clotting. When the liver is damaged, it can't produce these proteins as effectively, making us bruise more easily. So, if you've noticed that you're resembling a patchwork quilt after minor bumps and scrapes, it's your body's way of waving a red flag. It's like your liver is sending an SOS message saying, hey, something's not quite right here. So, don't ignore these colorful warnings. If you're turning blue from minor bumps, your liver might be in trouble. Nosebleeds can be more than just dry air, they're our tenth sign. You might think that nosebleeds are just a harmless inconvenience, but frequent and unexplained nosebleeds can actually be a sign of liver damage. Why, you ask? Well, our liver is responsible for producing clotting factors. When the liver is damaged, it can't make these factors as effectively, making the blood thinner and prone to bleeding. So if you're experiencing nosebleeds more often than usual, it might not be the dry weather or that sharp nail you just can't seem to file down. It may well be an indication that your liver isn't doing its job properly. Remember, your body is always speaking to you, and these nosebleeds might be a sign your liver needs some attention. Coming in at number 11, we have confusion and disorientation. Liver damage can seriously affect cognitive function, and it's not as far-fetched as it sounds. You see, the liver's job is to filter out toxins from your bloodstream. When it's damaged, it might not do this as effectively, allowing harmful substances to reach your brain. This can lead to a condition called hepatic encephalopathy, which can cause mental fog, confusion, and even disorientation. Imagine your brain trying to navigate through fog in a city it's supposed to know like the back of its hand. Suddenly familiar roads seem alien, and finding your way becomes a Herculean task. If you're feeling lost in familiar places, don't dismiss it, it could be your liver. Note, the ga is added at the end of the script to indicate the end of the scene. Our final sign is leg and ankle swelling. You may wonder, what do my legs and ankles have to do with my liver? Well, let's delve into it. When your liver is damaged, it struggles to produce enough proteins to keep fluid in the blood vessels. This can cause fluid to leak into surrounding tissues, leading to swelling, particularly in the lower extremities. The medical term for this is edema, and it's not something to take lightly. It can cause discomfort and limit your mobility. But more importantly, it could be your liver's way of telling you that it's under stress. If you're noticing new swelling in your legs or ankles, your liver might be waving a red flag. And there you have it folks, 12 weird signs of liver damage. It's paramount to identify these symptoms early to prevent further harm. Remember, your liver is a vital organ that plays an essential role in your body's overall health. So why not give it the care it deserves? Start today by maintaining a balanced diet, regular exercise, and limiting alcohol intake. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and check out our other videos. Your liver will thank you.